Again, it could be proximity. It could be because they are next to each other. But if this is, again, regular online, it looks smooth. I don't really think we're going to have as, as much issues as, as we think. Yeah, that, that grab is crazy. I don't think we're going to have as much as, as issues as people think. We should have had rollback netcode, to be honest. I'm worried about it. Yeah, roll, but rollback... Rollback is so hard to implement. I don't know. A lot of people don't do it for a reason. Like, fighters took so long to implement theirs. Most fighting games have it online. I mean, I well, nowadays... But I'm talking about for them. I'm talking about for them. I don't know why they don't do it with Dragon Ball games. They took them forever to do it with fighters. Like, I don't think Xenoverse has rollback. Does Xenoverse have rollback? Fighters just got their rollback. And I, but I'm saying like more so because I think those fighting games have the resources to. I don't know. Because I've seen something about it a while ago saying how they don't, they just don't do it for some reason. Like, I, I forgot what the reason was. I love that little dance Raccoon does when he charges up. Again, that's so unique to the character. What is he using? Is this Dragon Fist? It is. It is Dragon Fist. That is such a nasty move. This should kill him. He should, Raccoon shouldn't even have survived this. That should have did way more damage. I'm actually surprised. That should have did way more damage. Maybe if it was combined. Okay. What? Okay, what? Goku, you should not be even... Thank you. Oh, okay. The sidestep. Look at that sidestep, guys. Mechanics. Let's go. What am I watching this in? Hey, maybe? What is this? Oh, he lost track of him. Oh, y'all see that? I love that effect when you lose your senses and you lose track. That is so cool. Again, he did it again. It's almost like he's disarrayed. But how and how is Raccoon beating Super Saiyan 3 right now? This should not be happening. Do not, do not. If he does it, oh my god. I'm pissed for I'm pissed for whoever is Super Saiyan 3 right now. You need to be, you should, nah, bro, nah, bro, nah, bro, that was insane, how do you get beat, how do you get beat, how do you get beat, you had Super Saiyan 3, and, and, and that's a, that's a prime example, that is a prime example, really good, pause real quick, that's a prime example of actually, you got one character that's supposed to beat them, but somebody that's actually good at the game. That's why people, when people are saying, oh, all this stuff, oh, we is OP, it does not matter. If you're good at the game, you can beat anybody, honestly. Let's not, let's not, get, let's not get, get too hasty. Mr. Satan's not going to beat Beerus or Reese. Let's not get too hasty, but it's still possible. That's, that's the point. <laughs> All right, I haven't really seen much Trunks gameplay, so this is nice to see. Uh huh. Uh huh. What? Can you transform? I need to see Trunks transform. Oh, he wants to go straight to fusion. The fa I do like that, though. The fact that you can still pick one character, but still go into a fusion. And Oh, who is this? Oh, nice. Yeah, Gotenks should not lose. Gotenks should not lose. Whoever this guy is, they're, they're competitive. Uh, what? Stop skipping. We need to see all the gameplay, man. Oh, do you see the dodge? Do you see that dodge mechanic? The way, the, okay, so I'm seeing that especially, uh, turn them down. I'm seeing that especially from characters that have high speed, like go tanks, or if you're going Super Saiyan or something like that, there's this effect that naturally happens. And it's similar to like how Mui moves. It's not like auto dodge, of course, but 
it's like they get faster. They're obviously their speed increases, power, all that good stuff. So again, can, they're giving very accurate like lore in our in Dragon Ball to make us again feel like it. Look, look at his hair. Look at the realism. Do y'all see the shading on his hair, bro? Do y'all see that? Do y'all see that? That's so detailed. Gotenks looks amazing in Super Saiyan 3 on this game, bro. What? He looks absolutely sick. All right, so I like I like how they're showing different point of views as well. They're showing how the blast comes to you and how it, how you're shooting it from your point POV. All right, Majin Buu. All right, Majin Buu in action. The side steps and stuff, they really, really improved it. Like, I just really like seeing how clear everything looks. It looks crisp. You see it, you can see every single motion. Everything doesn't look, nothing really looks out of frame, if that makes sense. It's very clean. I also really enjoy the depth of field of these cameras. When they like, especially when you blast them away and you like move away from them. The camera kind of stays with you, but like at the same time, you can see them from so far away. The depth of field is crazy. Look, look how far he's going. And look at this. I ain't gonna lie. This this game look really realistic. And when I say realistic, obviously it looks like the anime. Like close, close. The models, I'll, I'll say, give 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 it some patience. The models can use some work. Mark a lie. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is the unique grab. That's the unique grab. I think that's what he was uh, talking about. It's, you met Patara or Pekora? How you doing, uh, Gundam? But yeah, SS3 is sick. He lost. He lost the raccoon though. That shit was insane. That man lost the raccoon. Yeah, that's the unique grab he was talking about. So, so apparently, like with certain characters, they have certain unique grab animations and interactions. So that was one of them. That was Goku versus uh, Majin Buu. I wonder what I wonder where one of them would be with Kid Kid Buu. Mr. Satan, what is? Oh man, we've seen this a million times. Goku would never fall for that. Uh, actually, yes, he probably would. Actually, I, I, I retract that. He probably would. Probably would. The one using Majin uh, Pekora is huge. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh my god, she grabs him again. Do you know who the uh, avatar is on the left here? I'm actually interested. They're pretty good. But yeah, this is this looks good, bro. This looks too good. I'm just ready to play. But until then, we are gonna be covering content, man. We can't uh can't just sit on our ass until Sparky Zero comes out and start dropping videos. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people are trying to do. They're trying to just wait till the game drops and just start dropping videos. <laughs> You gotta be preparing. Prepare yourself. Not really. Ah, oh, okay. I was just interested. I know why. Super Saiyan 3 should be doing a lot more damage, bro. And she should, they should not be getting beat like this. That's the second time Super Saiyan 3 lost to somebody they should be. Well, Majin Buu kind of makes sense. Kind of. Kind of canonical, if you think about it, kind of. But not really, because Goku, he only lost because he ran out of time. <laughs> Which means he technically didn't lose. I do like that. I, I like that effect. The, what he just did right there. I'm not going to lie. If you do this, I'm not going to be mad. If we're in an area where there's a lot of rocks and mountains and you want to go hide behind a rock to charge up and freaking... Bro, go do that shit, bro. I'm not even going to be mad at that. Let's see this. 
Alright, that was a that was basic. They need to work on I don't like how Trunks doesn't really get a lot of love in some of these. Trunks kinda they kinda treat Trunks and Goten basic. It kinda pisses me off. Not low key. They always give they always try to wait for Gotenks to do some shit. Ah. Uh, yeah, I think I started. I, yeah, I started it at the start. You can go back some if you want. But I started it right when it started. All right. Okay. 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 Oh, the grab. Oh. Oh, sleep early, yep. Yeah, I woke up. I wake up really early all the time, so this was nothing for me. Well, I, I literally didn't know what was happening again today. I woke up and I saw it. I was like, damn, 30 minutes? Okay, cool. I'm just. Sharing. I do like this, though. I like that when you choose your character. I like that when you choose your character, you don't have to necessarily choose fusion or anything like that. You can choose the character and then transform. Vegito versus Gotenks is actually insane. I actually think I'm going to do this for my next what if. I think I'm going to do that. That just gave me the idea. Vegito versus Gotenks. Oh. Yo, you're going crazy. You're going crazy. You're going crazy. Boom. I need to see an ultimate ultimate though. Have they done much? I don't know, maybe the, maybe the teammates are not allowing us. Yeah, lucky for me, my uncle called me by mistake. Ah! Lucky, lucky guy, lucky for the uncle. I'm glad you're coming into the stream and doing it with me. So you can get some translations, kinda. I do not know Japanese, but I, I, I can not know fighting. This is actually an intense battle right here. Yo, that person, whoever is Gotenks is actually trying to do some combos. They're learning a little something. They're learning a little something. Look, again, depth of field, y'all. Oh, that was nice. Was that like a unique order? No, we have to go back to that. Was that a little unique animation? I think this is a unique animation when they... Oh, okay, I like that. I like that. Look at that. Look at Gotenks. All right, Gotenks. All right, Gotenks. Show out. Show out. We got Majin Buu again versus Ghoul, though. Pakora, let's go. Yeah. Ah, he just, bro, that is so disrespectful. He just took a piece of his fat and threw it at you, bro. So, already what I'm noticing, especially with Ghoul, though, these characters are gonna have their strengths, bro. Like, they're not all just gonna be like, oh, canonically, like, oh, you're just weak. Like, they're all gonna have some strength, some move. Some trump card that it can pull out that you can probably use to your advantage to beat anybody. Like, who knows what Guldo really has or how he can chain into his psychic moves and if people can really use him well. Like, I tell you all the time, this this game is so cool because we just saw Super Saiyan 3 beat, get beaten by Majin Buu and Guldo. I think it was Guldo. Was it Guldo? Yeah, I think Guldo beat him. Yeah, let's see what these guys can do. This might be a little more entertaining fight, but it looks like Guldo is taking a beating. I would recommend he switch. Is he throwing a rock at him? Are you serious? Yeah, the disadvantage here is that Satan can't fly, so he can't go up there. So I was wondering how this would look. This is actually pretty interesting. I was wondering how this would look. Satan, Satan can't fly, or none of these characters can't fly, so I always wonder how that would look. Like this battle, like what? How would you like? How would you get up there? Like this should not work. You would have to go down to him. 
he he baited him. That was actually kind of neat. That was actually kind of funny. He baited him. So wait, he basically that's it. so stuff like that. Like there's ways to win. Like you know what I'm saying? He can't come on the ground, so you gotta either come to me or blast me. And if obviously if you're a super character, you can blast them away with a giant explosion or something like that. But. I think oh, I didn't hit. He blocked it. That's why some people are like, yeah, of course. Like, I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, I'm going to go Mr. Satan against Blue Gogeta and expect to win. But if I do win, that says a lot more about my skill than anything. So, no, you're not supposed to win those fights. And if you do, if they do win, yeah, I guess you could say, well, I was supposed to win that. But at the same time, I don't know. It's 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 so it's that deep of a sandbox to the point where it every anything can happen. Like anything can happen. You got yeah, you got Yajirobe with his sensu beans. You have all that stuff, bro. So all they're incorporating everything from the lore of Dragon Ball into this one setting, bro. Even customization, bro. I would not be surprised if they somehow incorporate custom uh, character customization in this game. I kind of thought they were going to do it the way they were going because this game just looks like they they could go for that. Like, I ain't going to lie, this game looks so big to the point where they're like, bro, you might as well add character customization. I know Xenoverse fans will be pissed though. I'm a Xenoverse fan, so let's not get your pants in there. I have like 1,000 plus hours in the game. All right. Are they going to clash? Oh no, they can't clash. I think that's a site. Oh no, that, that is a, a, a key blast. Oh, nah, destroyed. 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 They're going crazy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that. I remember seeing that. But, like, I meant character customization, like, creating your own cat as far as, um, as far as, uh, you know, like, your own character. Like, like that in depth. Like, Xenoverse. This is Loki unfair because does, does he have the damage of Majin Buu or is it still Mr. Satan's damage on that ultimate? Like, does Majin Buu and then, then his damage take, I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, no, I did see that. that, that those are sick. And I'm, and, um, you could go to my channel. I've been doing a lot of videos, a lot of content, and breaking down a lot of things. And I'm going to start doing a lot of that stuff uh, in shorts and stuff. So if you want to support me, subscribe to the channel. All that good stuff. Appreciate it. If you're not already subscribed. Consider come, becoming a member. I got some cool stuff when Sparking Zero drops. Some cool stuff planned for that. <laughs> it's all good, bro. I don't stress it. I just, YouTube be suggesting that you say it during your lives. So I, just, I just, I say it. It is not a necessity for me right now. It's actually not a focus. Money is not why I do this currently. If I start making some, cool. <laughs> but I really just do this for the love of gaming and content creation. <laughs> trying, to get, trying to get better too. So. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Oh, that slam. Oh, he went right into it. Oh, that is nice. If Vegito loses, bro, you cannot lose with Vegito, bro. You gotta come back, bro. You gotta come back, bro. You gotta come back. You cannot lose with Vegito. Oh. oh, you got to use some tech. You got to hold square. Damn. Oh, bro, this is what I mean, bro. You hate losing with Vegito, bro. How you losing with Vegito, bro? Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> Dude, Super Saiyan 3 lost to Majin Buu, Ghoul though, and Vegito lost to Raccoon. What are y'all doing, bro? Y'all cannot be losing to these guys. But again, again, I think more so on that bright side, it highlights that the game isn't all about Okay, if I pick Vegito, it's an automatic win. There's still you still gotta play the game. 
and you still have to be good at the game. And it shows that if you're better at the game than the person that you're playing, you're going to win every match, no matter what player they have. Because if they can't hit you, if they can't combo string, if they can't get off those moves that those <laughs> powerful characters have, then it's, you know, no different. I think that's definitely the end of the Tokyo Game Show. Um, that was actually better than yesterday a little bit. I actually like seeing the uh, gameplay for that one. Um, see, yeah, and, and com see, comments are confirming this too. Like, this is going to be good for competitive. Like, it's, gonna, it's not going to be like your next Evo or anything. But it's still going to be good because it has that competitive grit to it. Because Dragon Ball is just, it's competitive by nature. You're fi it's a fighting game. And it's it's where they talk the most shit. Like, Dragon Ball characters talk, constantly talking shit. Even when they're fighting, as they're fighting, they're talking shit. Which are, which are these cool moments in here, which I've been breaking down in my YouTube videos. You can check those out. I'm breaking those down where they have cool interactions while you're fighting. Like, you could actually, like, it's, it's, it's wicked. So if you guys enjoyed this live stream, you guys enjoyed the video, the live stream the reaction breakdown all that good stuff gonna be chopping this one up probably gonna be getting the game show out the full game show out today so i'm gonna be uh chopping this one up and then uh i have another one i'm chopping up um from the other one and i'll probably do the full game show breakdown today uh i have my reaction posting today as well some shorts so just be on the lookout for content y'all it's gonna be a, a long two weeks but as a small content creator you gotta put in the work you got to put in the work gotta put in the work I'm going to put in the work. Can't let up. Only time I let it out again. Now, that week before, I am going to take a rest, though. I don't want to, like, burn myself out going up until release. And then when I start zero come, I can't push out content because I don't have the energy to. I'm going to chillax probably for the week before. But this week, a lot of content rolling out. And, yeah, that is all. Leave a like on this video. Leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you're new. We'll get all some more Spark Zero content. Peace.